Okay, Jay, so do you want to just start off with telling me the different type of research you've done on the project? First with a primary research, such as focus group questionnaires, recce's and risk assessments. First we did a focus group, which is we told our idea to a class and they gave us feedback and how they think they could improve it and how to agree with that. But they, they gave us um, I, um, ideas such as someone could chase us, could use people in the background, see, see why he's running away from different idea, different people. Second one is questionnaires, um, see what people like, what genre, what kind of films, what directors they like. The bad thing about that is might, they might not. I mean, accurate enough. So we did a big audience. Reckies, we went to different places, <coughs> such as the mill, um, students' house, see what light turn in, coming in the room, how small it is, if you see if the lights go in the mill, that's Mission. The last is risk assessment. See if there's any danger. See how if if there was we can prevent it. See the hazards. See see if the floor's wet. See if there's fire set exit. Second research was bought for websites. First we went through a book called the uh, Guerrilla Films Maker Movie Blueprint. That told us different genres we could use, such as directors, actors, editors, BMI operators. We, we used that book to just <coughs> see how we could improve on our skills using them different roles. We used websites such as skill sets to give us how much they would earn in real life and what qualifications they might need. Uh, what did you learn from doing the research? First, <coughs> we got feedback from our focus group that it would be more better if we used more than one person instead of one. So if we had one it might be more bland than having like three. And in the questionnaires we got the feedback from that. So so <coughs> we got so we know what kind of genre people like and not such as they might not like action one and comedy such as we did Reckies, like we went to Owen, Owen's room and it was time. So we have to try and film now without getting all the people in the shop. And we went to the mill and we asked them we was allowed to use it. <coughs> and we had to make sure that no one was busy at them times. And it doesn't interrupt the filming. And we did a risk assessment to see if there was any danger. Like, we went in his room with like balls of wires, like junk on the floor. So, we had to work around all that stuff on the floor, make sure no one got in danger. And we went to the see if there was like any glass wires hanging out. When always we see any trip hazards, see if anything could fall over, hurt ourselves. Cool, okay. Um, how valuable was your research? How effective was it in you actually making this film? Some of it 
was good, like, when we went to Owen's room, it was light then, but when we went to Owen, it was a bit darker, so we couldn't take shots on the floor, it was, the camera couldn't pick up the light. Like, <coughs> the weather might have changed since then. So, when we was, like, in the middle, completely lighter, like, one day, I can only film the next day, it could be a lot darker, so the room was a lot darker. <coughs> and we keep the other equipment list as well. Which, which tell us what equipment we need for this day, like cameras, tripods, three mics. And <coughs> we also research what kind of shots I'll make a sacro filler filler such as a dilt there and dust tails see so like someone sneaking behind them and they also use like flashbacks see the paths see how they change over the time within them. 